Today on our 2006 Jeep Grand Cherokee, we'll be test fitting the Swagman XTC4 platform style hitch mounted Ford bike rack for two inch hitches, part number S64665. We'll begin our test fit by sliding the shank of the bike rack into the opening of the hitch. After lining up the pinholes, we'll thread in our anti rattle bolt, tighten it down with a wrench, and then secure it with the clip on the other side. With the bike rack secured, we'll go over a few clearance measurements to see how the two fit together. We have about 14 inches of ground clearance. Closest part of the bike rack to the closest part of the vehicle is about an eighth of an inch away, and it does have some wobble, so it may hit the rear of your bumper. And we have added about nine inches to the overall length of our Jeep. We'll now go ahead and remove the silver pin at the base of the bike rack, which will allow us to tilt the platform down. With the rack in this position, we have about 24 inches of ground clearance. Closest part of the bike rack to the closest part of the vehicle is about 11 inches away, and we've added about 40 inches to the overall length of our Grand Cherokee. You can see that we can easily access the rear hatch of our Jeep with the bike rack in this position. To load up a bike, we'll need to remove the silver pin at the base of the mast to unfold it. After reinserting the silver pin, we'll make sure that we raise the frame hooks to the top of the mast and that we undo the rubber cradle strap. We'll place our bike into the wheel cradles, Bring the frame hook down and clamp it tightly against the frame, and then secure the front and back tire with the rubber cradle straps. And with our bike all loaded up, that will complete today's test fit of the Swagman XTC4, part number S64665, on our 2006 Jeep Grand Cherokee.